Well, g'day, Curd Nerds. Today we're doing a taste test for brick cheese. Now, as you can see, I've got my brick cheese here in front of me. A uh, little bit of a, a shot beforehand. You can see there's a nice big fat split right down the middle where I didn't turn it for a week. So unfortunately, I've kind of made a mistake. But anyway, it smells absolutely stinky. The stinkiest cheese that I've smelt uh, for a long, long time. But it does look delicious. It looks creamy inside where the split is anyway. So let's be game and have a piece of the brick cheese, shall we? It's certainly soft in the middle. Oh, that looks good. It's got some, um, it's got some holes. So it's got some eyes in it, which is fantastic. A little bit of gas development there, but it's certainly oozy and uh, looks absolutely delicious. Right, so let's have a taste of this lovely cheese. So I have my crackers. Cut a slice, it kind of almost spreads. That's how good it looks. And it's a pity you can't see what's beyond the fourth wall. I've got two little taste test dogs looking at me, smelling the, smelling the stinky cheese. <laughs> They absolutely want a piece of this yummy cheese. Yep, smells like old socks, but that's what it smells like normally anyway. Oh, but it is to die for. So creamy. Oh, these, I really do love these wash, washed rind cheeses. Even though they take a little bit of a maintenance and sometimes they split on top. The final result is just absolutely fantastic. Mm. Gooey, creamy, and the taste for the red mold is absolutely fantastic. It's ever so subtle. Um, still a bit tacky on the top where it's dried off a little bit, but that's okay. I would definitely serve brick cheese on a cheese platter any day. It's got my A1 stamp of approval. In fact, I'm going to have another one. Are you going to break the fourth wall, eh, Kim? Are you going to come and... You know? Or did we... <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm not giving any to the uh, cheese taste test either. Oh. Nice and gooey. Let's have another bit. Mmm. delicious mm. <laughs> so there you have it brick cheese oops I swallowed my mouthful absolutely delightful cheese creamy rich um, I don't know what else to say except go out and make it it is a great little cheese um, and uh, thanks for the person in Wisconsin who invented brick cheese um, all those years ago. Anyway, uh, you can check out how I made brick cheese by clicking over here. And don't forget that you can support the show via Patreon or YouTube memberships. And that keeps the channel on the air and uh, the cheesy videos flowing. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you next time.